Good evening friends and welcome to a travel vlog. I am headed to Florida to visit Universal Orlando. We're doing a fam trip for the travel agent that I work with and I'm very excited because I don't I have never been to Universal in Orlando. I've only been to the one in Florida or Hollywood. So um, I'm excited to experience it. I know a lot about it because I do sell that um, vacation, but I've never stepped foot and experienced it myself. So I'm very excited to get on the floor or on the ground <laughs> and learn more about Universal. There are several weird things about this trip. One, I'm traveling by myself, which never happens. So it's really weird and awkward. Um, and that kind of leads into I'm going to be vlogging this whole trip by myself, which will be a first too, so sorry if I'm weird and awkward. And um, because I needed to be in Orlando early in the morning on a Monday and coming from the West Coast, to the only flight that would be able to let me do that without staying an extra day and costing extra money would be I had to take a flight tonight, Sunday night at 9.30. At John Wayne Airport. <laughs> and so my flight leaves here at 9.30 p.m. and then I will arrive at Atlanta at 6.30 in the morning, no 4.30 in the morning, and then I will rely, or arrive in Orlando at 8.30 in the morning. So then I have like things to do that I'm scheduled for, so we'll see how I handle all this go 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 I'm so old I don't know if I can do it anymore but I'm sure it'll be fine so this might be a kind of a weird travel day vlog starting at the night and ending in the morning but I'll be excited to get there and show it all to you guys we're gonna look at all the resorts and this is exciting this is also the first time I've traveled at out of John Wayne Airport um, at least since I was a kid and I just looked it up on Google Maps and it is only 14 miles from Disneyland, so it would be the closer airport to Disneyland if you're traveling down here to go to Disneyland. By the way, it is so peaceful traveling at night because like no one else is here but me. I'm all alone. My terminal is actually like down there, but I'm sitting over here quietly so I can edit a video that we got going on and just chill. While I'm just waiting here, because I got here so early, I thought I would share with you guys the what's in my airplane bag. Na, 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 na. So, <laughs> first, I always bring like an empty bottle of water so you can fill it up. It's a big money saver and you stay hydrated better that way. Um, I have my iPad so I can edit some videos and do a little bit of work on that. It's easier to carry around than my laptop because my laptop is giant and so my iPad does great when traveling because I do not like to bring my laptop when I travel unless I'm going for a very long time. Um, I have my glasses case so whenever I fall asleep I know that my glasses aren't going to get busted somewhere. I have charging. <laughs> multiple so I'm not gonna bring those all out but I have a lot. I have my little wallet so I have um, just some you know my money and ID and important things that I need in here. A hairbrush because you can never need to brush your hair. I have my Walt Disney book here and it's just a notebook so I can journal if I want, um, write down thoughts, if I need to get some work done and write it down, um, just things like that or if I wanted to doodle. And then I also like bring a book, right now I have this one from the library, it's one of the Nicholas Sparks books, ones I haven't read. I'm a big Nicholas Sparks fan but I haven't had a chance to read his stuff in a while so I felt like this would be a good chance to, to do that also have my Shea Moisture facial wipes. I like, I use these every day anyway, but they're really nice when you travel just to be able to wash your face on the plane because it gets so clammy in there. And I don't have the best skin, so I really have to stay on top of it. And especially when I travel, it just, it doesn't, poor thing. And as you can tell, I'm not wearing any makeup. I travel for comfort, not for cuteness. So, sorry. <laughs> I have toothbrush and toothpaste so I can brush my teeth before I get on the plane. Um, chapstick. And then I, I have this like witch hazel blemish stick. 
it's basically just witch hazel and it's um, just so you can put a toner on your face while you travel and it's like a little roller ball. It's really nice and it calms your skin down too. Then I have some earbuds and a granola bar. So just in case I need a snacky snack. But that's what's in my airplane bag. Um, it's different when I have kids obviously and they have their own little airplane bag too so they carry their own things. But um, that's basically what I carry in mine. What do you carry in yours? Do you have some of the same stuff in there? Or do you have completely different things? Let me know. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? Should there be something I'm bringing that I'm not? Please let me know. I just FaceTimed with Chris and the kids and it was so cute and sweet. I'll insert a picture that I took while we were doing it. But um, I'm glad to see that they're doing good. Jude was not doing really good whenever um, I had to leave. It's really hard on him and I don't leave a lot and so this is new and but he's doing so good and I'm so proud of him um, it's really hard to leave your kids I mean every all of us moms were like oh I can't wait if I can get a trip away from my kids um, it does sound like a dream but it is hard um, it's just part of who you are now like as a mom and so it's really hard to not be mommy right now just to be a grown-up and out doing my own thing it's really hard and weird and it's like a piece of my identity is not with me <laughs> so I don't know have any of you moms traveled before and you know what I'm saying I know it sounds like it doesn't make sense but um, but yeah that's what's going on right now I still have a like an hour before the flight takes off I don't know when they're gonna start boarding but hopefully soon but maybe I can get this video finished before. That would be amazing. I've landed in uh, Atlanta. <laughs> it's 1.30 something my time, um, but I still haven't gotten to sleep. But like I started to doze off and there would be turbulence and then I'd wake up. So I ended up watching Aladdin um, and it was really good. I really liked it. I like the new like spin they put on it and the cute little like story with the genie. Um, I just really liked it. It was a really good movie. Um, but yeah. I'm exhausted. I'm hoping I have two hours until this flight. I'm gonna try to lay on this bench and get some sleep, but we'll see if that happens or not. I'm so tired. Why'd I do this? <laughs> Did I sleep? No. <laughs> Atlanta airport is really loud. They just have like the news on. Even when people weren't in here, the news is on like loud where everybody can hear it. There's no volume, so. Nope, I'm asleep in the bed only when it's quiet and no fluorescent lights in my face going on. Maybe I'll sleep on this flight. I don't know. But flight two, we're almost there.
Orlando. I stopped to get a Starbucks because I'm exhausted. About to hop on the little shuttle to the terminal that has the bag claim in it. And it was cool because um, Universal sent me a text, even though they sent me, once I signed up for the shuttle, after I gave them my flight information and stuff, they sent me an email with all that information, but they also texted me yesterday to remind me of where to go for the shuttle and gave me a little link to a map, so I won't get lost. So that's pretty nifty, I like that. Here comes the little tram, the little monorail tram. Oh, it's going backwards. I thought it was going to go the other way. Oh no, I might slide off. You probably know Orlando. There are world class state parks and attractions. But you may not know the other half of it. You are a professional sports, high tech, and emerging medical industries. You are a vibrant parts. There is something for that. So it returns you to the main terminal. Terminal and level three. Baggage claim is level two. And the shuttle to. Universal is on level one. So, let's see if we can get this done in a timely manner. Please hold on to the hand. And look at the Magical Express is this way too. Oh my gosh, Florida. It's hot. It's so hot here. I'm not used to the humidity anymore. I used to live in Florida, but after being gone for just a year, um, yeah, my skin has gotten used to that sweet California weather. But anyways, um, I'm waiting on the Universal bus or shuttle now and they gave me a little thing so I'm going to show you what they gave me. Okay because I'm doing the superstar shuttle that I um, signed up for to get just like taken to the hotel that I'm staying at. They gave me this little packet and it's like a little zipper pouch which is nice and it has like the tickets, my express passes, dining plan, dining experience, all the add-ons um, and then this lets me know when they're going to pick me up for my shuttle to come back so you can see there I will have to wake up super early um, and stuff so this is really really nice to have I wonder what these add-ons are it's like some oh cool just some little coupons for different stuff around the city walk pretty sweet here it is it's here time to get on board Ooh, I arrived at my resort. This is Sapphire Falls, the Low Sapphire Falls Resort. This is so nice. I like this beachy feel and that giant window out there. This is the lobby. And I'm walking to my room. So it looks like oh, there's a Universal store in here. I'll have to come check that out in a second. But I'm going to go to my room. And I'll show you that when I get there. In guest house three, so that's over here. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm three two zero six. Maybe I'm. I don't know where to go. Okay, I have to come down to the second level, which is the pool level, to to do three two zero six. So three is the guest room area and then the two would be the second level almost there three two zero six let's check this out mm. nice okay as soon as you walk in you see this nice tall mirror bunny mirror and then on this side you have a double door closet very beachy I love the pops of color in there it's so awesome there is an ironing board and an iron some extra pillows hanger and a safe and then you turn right around and here is the sink area I love this mirror with the colors that's so fun and they have a light up makeup mirror. What's in here? Ooh, some like cotton swabs and cotton balls, shower cap, and body wash and hand cream and a facial bar. It's a very nice sink. 
And underneath you have the towels and a blow dryer. And then there's like a sliding door to the shower. And toilet. This is the shower. And it has one of the things that hang your swimsuits. It's just a, like a standard tub, but it, there is a tub and a shower, so that's nice, especially for bathing kiddos. And then here is the main room. This is two queens in here. Some nice artwork. I love like these tall headboards, which is really awesome. Looks like you have an iHome alarm clock and a cordless phone. Um, lamps that are dual, you can control which one's on your side. Another bed. I like those pillows too. They have uh, the TV on when you walk in. So when I first walked in, I was kind of scared because the cart was outside and I thought um, someone was in here. <laughs> but they weren't. And then in here you have your drawers. It's pretty sweet. So four drawers in here. And then we have a mini fridge in here. Awesome. And by the TV and the drawers, there is a coffee maker. It's kind of like a Keurig. And um, they have these options. You can even have some green tea if you want with, looks like sweeteners, including uh, Trivia. I thought it might have been Stevia. And then um, some half and half. Some water that costs $7.50. And they have just like a rundown of stuff you need to know about um, where you're staying, the different uh, restaurants they have. Um, if you wanted to go to Halloween Horror Nights, they have information for that for you. It's like very beachy. I like it. And this chair is pretty cool too. With the beachy lamp in the back. Let's see our view. We are on the pool level. So I'm not sure where the pool is from where I'm sitting. But um, this is the lagoon where the water taxis will take you to uh, Universal City Walk and the parks. But I can already see, can you see it? Like an ibis. It's too bright, it's like so bright. It's right there. Oh, I also wanted to tell you, I didn't let you know about how the shuttle was. It was a smaller shuttle than the Magical Express if you've ever been on that but um, it was quiet. There wasn't a lot of people on there. That's kind of why I didn't vlog on there. Um, there were a few people and it was so quiet. I knew if I was talking, um, everyone would notice me <laughs> talking to you guys. So um, I just decided not to vlog, not to draw any attention to myself in that moment. And, um, but yeah, it was a nice ride. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would. It took a about 15 20 minutes so um, there was a stop at the Portofino Hotel first so I guess it just depends on who's being picked up at the same time you are but um, it wasn't a bad shuttle ride it was nice so glad my room was ready when I got here they said it might be until 4 before it was ready but and it's like 9 in the morning so it's ready so I think I'm going to take a shower and a nap and get ready for um, the registration. And there's gonna be a tour of this hotel tonight. And we're having dinner. So I don't know if I'm gonna vlog any of that, but um, I will go ahead and do an outro now, just in case. This has been a great day. It'll be better once I go to sleep. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Stay tuned. I am going to do an individual vlog for each of the resorts that I'm going to tour in the next couple of days. So you'll get to see a tour of every resort that Universal Orlando has. And, um, and you can compare which ones work better for your family, budget-wise and amenity-wise. But um, the Sapphire Lowe's, it's one of the higher-end ones, and it's really nice i can see why so if you want to see more of this i'll put a link up in the cards and down in the description of the tour of this hotel and we'll see you next time bye